almost like a kitchen sponge cheek. <laughs> it feels wet. <laughs> I feel like I've forgotten to start, forgotten how to start a video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm back, hopefully. Fingers crossed, I'm back. It's been a pretty awful past few weeks, if I'm honest. If you guys saw my little update and if you follow my Instagram and my vlog channel, you will see that I just, I haven't been very well. Like I was really, really poorly and I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm probably at like 90%, but I keep going through sort of waves of feeling really tired and then having like loads of energy and like flip flopping back between both of those. And then also my tonsils keep swelling up at nighttime and first thing in the morning again. At the moment, I'm feeling okay. I'm gonna see how I go in today's video because I haven't like sat down for like two hours to film a video in probably like three weeks. I thought today I would just do a bit of a like chatty video where I test some new makeup just to sort of like ease myself back into things. Why is everything looking wonky? This is really annoying me. I don't know why my hair looks so much darker as well. I'm actually getting my hair done tomorrow and I was gonna get it dyed a little bit darker but it already looks really dark. I think some of my blonde bits have fallen out honestly like I don't even know. <laughs> I guess we will just get started. Actually maybe my hair looks darker because I don't have any fake tan on and it's like more of a contrast between my skin. That could be why. For my primer, I've actually got the new one from NARS. This is the NARS Soft Matte Primer. I've got like a real mixture of stuff in here. Some stuff actually in here, I'm really, really excited to test. Like I've got the, um, those iconic London liquid, like glittery eyeshadows. I've got one of the Beauty Bay Disney cream blushes, which I'm really excited to try. I've got the Revolution Soft Glamour Mascara. I've got the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Heat, but the ones that are in new shades, because they did just have a red one to start out with, but these ones are like nude. So this is the new NARS Soft Matte Primer. The NARS Soft Matte Foundation, is that what it's even called? Actually, no, it's not. I was gonna say the NARS Soft Matte Foundation is my favorite, but it's not. My favorite is the Radiance Lasting, ra what even, what was it called? Radiant Longwear, I think. That is my favorite foundation from NARS, but let's have a go at this primer. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say really because most of uh, the sort of story about what happened to me was on my vlog channel. I made like a whole video sort of like talking about it because I'd started vlogging and then that evening everything sort of like went downhill and so I had like a couple minutes of a vlog and then just decided that at the end of the vlog I would just talk about like what happened. I'm slightly concerned because my face stings a little bit which is really weird because there's nothing in here that I'm aware of that I usually react to. I don't want to take any chances. I'm going to go wash this off. That, what? Why? Why is it doing that? Because I got on fire with the foundation. Maybe my skin is just extra sensitive at the moment because I've been ill. Maybe it's to do with my antibiotics. I've got no idea, but I'm going to go wash this off. <laughs> oh, that's a real shame because it looks quite nice on my skin. But yeah, has anyone else tried this and had that reaction? Goodbye. I'll be back in a sec. Don't need any other issues. <laughs> I will say as soon as I got to the sink, my face did actually stop stinging, but because it initially stung a bit when I'm putting it on, I don't want to take any chances. Alternative primer that I'm going to use, which I think I should be fine with, is the NYX and Sex Education Collaboration. This is the first base blurring primer. I have a feeling this is probably just gonna be the same as the NYX Mattifying Primer, but just in like different packaging. Um, but we'll see. Did I catch that on camera? It's just exploded all down me. Is this YouTube's way of telling me that I shouldn't come back to the internet? Why is it falling off my face? Okay, well at least this one isn't stinging. <laughs> And yes, of course, my nails are red uh, because of Taylor Swift. I just really hope this isn't gonna sort of like ball up. I think it is the same as NYX's sort of mattifying primer, but maybe I should have like shook it or something because it was very sort of bitty. It's not my favorite primer, but it has made my skin feel very soft. For my base, this is very bougie, but I really, really want to test it. This is by Shiseido. I think that's how you say it. Um, they do some incredible makeup, but it is very expensive. So just a little warning, this is pricey. This is the Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Tint, and it's got SPF 20 in it. I thought I would use this today because um, they sent over the shade 125 Fair, and it looks like it will sort of work for me when I don't have my tan on. Look at the little nozzle. Is that what it's called? It's got a very thin nozzle. So I'm gonna 
just squeeze some of this onto my face and I love a skin tint. So I'm hoping I'm gonna like this. And to apply this actually, I've got some new sponges from Real Techniques, although I'm not too sure how I feel about them if I'm being completely honest, but I don't wanna bash it until I've tried it. So they've got like a new sort of design um, and they've got this new one, which is called the Miracle Air Blend Sponge. I, I did run it underwater, but it's like so, it's got so many holes in it and it just feels sort of like a, almost like a kitchen sponge. Like it's, it's very, Holy, I don't actually know if you'll be able to see what I mean. So we'll give it a go, but usually with like skin tints and stuff. Oh God, oh my God, okay, yep. You can literally see where it just fully absorbed all that product in the actual shape that I put it on my face. Let's try a foundation brush. This one is by Makeup by Tammy. Okay, to be fair, it's a very light coverage anyway, but... <laughs> The, the brush seems to be blending it out a bit more than the sponge did. The sponge so, sort of just drank all the product. I definitely, that did definitely cover the sort of like bits of redness that I had on my cheek. But I will put some more on the other side of my face. But I've just put on a tiny bit at the moment. It feels like I've got absolutely nothing on my skin. Like it feels really, really lightweight. And it doesn't really look like I've got anything on. But yeah, if you sort of compare both sides of my face, the brush definitely works a lot better with it. So I'm going to put some more on. I'm also going to put some more on this side as well and just everywhere. But yeah, what have I been up to the past like two weeks. I've watched a hell of a lot of TV. I've played a lot of Animal Crossing. I've listened to a lot of Taylor Swift. Pretty much it. <laughs> it's been quite a boring time to be honest. And I've spent most of my time on the sofa. But yeah, I'm very grateful that I'm healthy again. Well, not fully healthy. Basically, um, because my tonsillitis still hasn't fully cleared up, the hospital did actually recommend that I do a test for glandular fever, which I'm really hoping it's not that. And I don't think it is glandular fever because I think if it was, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just really hoping that it's not. This looks really nice. I really, really like that. It is pricey. It really looks natural. And can we just talk about how that is the perfect color match pretty much for my neck? Obviously like it hasn't covered everything because it is a light coverage. You can still see my spots down here and the scars on my cheeks. Um, but in general, it looks pretty good. I mean, to be fair to the product, my skin is actually really good at the moment. So I didn't have a whole lot that sort of needed covering anyway, but I actually really like that. Yes, it is expensive, but uh, it looks very natural. If you're a Shiseido fan and you're wondering what this looks like, I think it's very nice. For my concealer, I'm just gonna use this Maybelline one. The Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Concealer. Yeah, it's really weird actually because I hadn't been into my filming room since Halloween. And we're now like, what, midway through November. It's gonna be Christmas soon. I need to get some Christmas decorations for my background out of the loft. Okay, so I'm using the sponge for the concealer. And it, I'm not really enjoying the finish that it's giving. I feel like it's not just, it just doesn't look very smooth. It's got little holes in it like the sponge does. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I really, don't, I really don't like this sponge. I much prefer the original Real Techniques sponge. I'm actually just gonna put a little bit of concealer on that spot and just like wait for it to dry for a bit. For my bronzer, I'm gonna use a little bit of the Made by Mitchell liquid bronzer. I swear I do have some new products to test, but I just didn't have a concealer and I didn't have a bronzer, but I've got everything else. So this is in the shade Shady Business. Did I say that already? I don't think that I did. And what I actually like to do now with my makeup routine is I'll do my cr all of my cream products first and then I will re-blend my under eyes and sort of use my beauty blender to tap over everything and then I will powder. I used to set my under eyes and then put on my cream products but I actually find it a bit easier to like set everything afterwards. That really works, leaving the concealer to dry a bit before you blend it out if you want a bit more coverage on like spots and stuff. For my cream blush, I've got the Beauty Bay and Disney collection, Alice in Wonderland blush and this is called Mad Hatter. They have quite a few of these sticks and they did send them over to me but I only actually kept one shade because this one looks like it was right up my street. We've got this peachy colour on one side and then the other side is a little bit more pink but it's still got that peachy sort of undertone. Oh wow that looks really pretty. I think uh, the slightly lighter side, this one, might have a little bit of shimmer in it and I think the other one's matte. Should we try one in each cheek? Yeah why not? Only thing is when it comes to these sticks products like sometimes they drag a bit on your cheeks and can sort of like take off the foundation underneath it but we'll see oh yeah i prefer this one the sort of matte side 
is a bit more creamy. I was gonna say something, but I've just completely forgotten what I was gonna say. Oh, well that blended very easily. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I prefer that one. I prefer this side. This one, um, the one that doesn't have the shimmer in it, it's a bit of a stronger color and it just goes on a little bit creamier without so much sort of slip. <sighs> Which one was that now? Because it does say mad cheek. <laughs> Read the instructions. It says lip and cheek duo. That would be why guys, because I was putting the lipstick on my face on this side. But yeah, I was just putting the lipstick on my face. So I'm now gonna actually use the cheek one, which is why it was working better on my cheek. That is a really beautiful color. I really like it. I like that a lot. For my powder, I've got this one from Kiko, which is the Dolce Diva Fresh Feel Setting Powder. I really hope this is still available because again, like with Kiko, it's from one of their limited collections. And it feels like it's wet. It's the strangest feeling. And I feel like this is a dupe for something. Like it almost feels wet in texture. And I don't know why. Like it's got this cooling sort of effect. But it's also very, very finely milled. But yeah, it does feel kind of wet. So we'll see how this goes on my skin. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, it feels it feels wet. Is it making my skin wet? I don't like it. I don't think I don't think I like that. That's really bizarre. It looks very smooth. Oh my god, but yeah, if you put on quite a lot, it actually feels like you're putting setting spray on your face. It feels wet. But then my face doesn't f Huh? How does this work? Why does it feel wet, but then you touch it and it's dry? I'm very confused by the feeling of that. And to be honest, I'm not sure that I like the feeling of it, but my skin definitely looks very smooth now. I definitely got some in my eyes because they now feel really weird. I'm just using a little bit of bronzer, the Kiko one, to add a bit more bronzer to my face because I still feel like I look quite flat. Then for powder blush, I'm using Benefit Georgia, which is a new shade. And I don't think, well, it was new quite a few months ago, to be honest, but I don't think I've tried this before. Ooh, it kind of smells like peach. It looks like more of a highlighter, actually. Can you see that here? Not a lot is really coming off. If anything, I feel like that's just dulled down the blush that I had on underneath. <laughs> I'm having such a fail. Really am, aren't I? Just because I have it to hand, I'm going to use this miniature one from Tarte. I'm going to have to cut so much out of this video. Because I can't even remember what I've said. Basically, to cut a long story short, like if you're not interested in watching the full story of me talking about what happened. Um, I had a bad case of bacterial tonsillitis, which didn't get treated in time. And I then ended up with a severe infection in my blood in hospital. No, wait, not an infection in my... Actually, was it an infection in my blood? Basically, I had a severe infection, which nearly reached the point of sepsis, and so I ended up in hospital. It was very scary. I felt awful, and yeah, <laughs> that's the long and short of it. Um, But I'm doing a lot better now, but I am going to try and sort of, like, pace myself a bit because I don't want to go, like, full steam ahead. Um, Although it's a little bit difficult because I've got a really busy few weeks coming up because usually, like, November, December is the busiest sort of time on YouTube and Instagram in terms of, like jobs like um sponsorships and stuff because black friday is coming christmas is coming and so i do actually have a few sponsorships that i've got to get done um this week and next week i do have some exciting jobs coming up and i'm gonna use this highlighter which is the revolution soft glamour highlighter in the shade internal glow it looks stunning it's like a really nice baked uh formula Does this helicopter want to piss off? <laughs> oh wow, that's really beautiful. Wow. No more guys, in terms of revolution highlighters, this is one of the best ones I've tried. It's nearly as good as mine. <laughs> It's very like um, non-texturizing. That's definitely not the right way to describe it, but it sort of just like glides over the top of your skin. It doesn't sort of like stick in clumps. That is really nice. I've got two things. I've got the NYX and Sex Education Bush Tamer, which I think is gonna be exactly the same as the NYX Brow Glue, but it's just in like the Sex Education sort of packaging. And then I've got this from Max Factor, which is called the Real Brow Duo Kit in the shade medium. I wanted to use this because I don't really have anything that's sort of similar. It almost looks like a cushion sort of formula. Oh, I've just stuck my thumb in it. Of course I have. 
But do you see, it almost looks like a cushiony texture. And it sort of feels like it. It almost feels like a creamy, cream to powder sort of texture. I absolutely loved Sex Education. I actually, me and James only watched it probably like a month ago we started watching it, or maybe just over that, but I know that everyone has loved Sex Education since it first came out, but we'd never watched it before. Um, decided to give it a go, finally ended up absolutely loving it and like binge watching all three seasons in the space of, I don't know, like a week, two weeks. I love all the characters. I love the relationships between the characters. It talks about a lot of important issues that I think a lot of other shows haven't necessarily covered before. Um, and yeah, just, I think it's really good. Okay, what I do just wanna say, the brush that comes with this is really thick. Uh, there's two sides to it and they're both not particularly thin. So I wouldn't use the little brush that comes in this Max Factor thing. I'm gonna use this little Iconic London brush instead. I'm using this colour here, which is the slightly more cool toned one. And then the other one is a little bit more warm toned, but this seems to be like a really good colour match for my natural hair. Also, in terms of upcoming videos, I've got so many things that I want to make videos on and like products that I want to test. Obviously, Rem Beauty, I will definitely be testing. Okay, so here's the thing. With REM, um, which is, or REM, which is um, Ariana Grande's makeup brand, if you didn't know, I actually had got last week or whenever I was ill, an email from the PR company that is looking after REM Beauty. And they were asking if I would like to be sent some stuff. So I was like, hell yeah. I replied to the email. I got the notification. I literally replied to the email straight away. So that was incredibly exciting to get that email. However, I did sort of think like, even though I'm being, being sent some stuff in PR, when I saw the amount of products that she had, I was like, okay, there's no way that they're gonna send every single product in PR because there's so many different shades of everything and so many different products. And so I did make an order myself of like everything on the website. I really like this by the way. Just don't use the brush that comes with it. I did a massive order and I think it came to like $238. It was free international shipping over $80. However, once I had checked out, I then got like it said underneath like your order completion, please bear in mind that orders containing and then it had like a list of products and it was a couple shades of the lip stain and then like most shades of the coal eyeliner i think it basically said orders containing those products wouldn't be shipped until the 3rd of december and lo and behold one of the products that was on there, one of the colours of the lip stains, was the bloody lip stain that I had added to my basket and was in my order. And so I was like, great, that now means that my whole order, just because of this one lip stain, isn't going to be shipped until the 3rd of December. And so I quickly emailed the customer service and I was like, hey, um, I've just completed my order and then seen that it's not going to be shipped until the 3rd of December. Is there any chance that I can just either swap the lip stain for a different colour or can I just remove it from my order entirely so that the rest of the order uh, can go ahead and be shipped? And they basically, they replied back very quickly, but they said that that wasn't possible. So <laughs> uh, that's a real shame. So I basically, that my big order of Rem Beauty isn't coming until sometime in December, which is really frustrating, but I'm hoping that the PR package will show up soon. And as soon as that arrives, I will test whatever I've got. My eyebrows aren't even, they're just not even. One of them is lower down than the other, but. Oh, and by the way, the Sex Education NYX Bush Tamer <laughs> is exactly the same as the NYX Brow Glue. So if you have that one, you wouldn't need both of these. This is what my eyebrows are looking like. For my eyeshadow palette, I have got this, which is from No Filter Beauty. I have been absolutely dying to test this brand. Um, it is a brand that is owned by an incredible makeup artist called Lo, and actually Vicky Patterson. They've sort of like joined forces to create this brand, which at the moment has got a eyeshadow palette and some lip kits. And it's also like a sister brand of Barry M. So I think um, it's on like the Barry M website. So the eyeshadow palette is $24.99 and the lip kits are $14.99 but Lowe's Instagram is the beauty bomb just like b-o-m not like with a b on the end there is one shade in here that um mine came a little bit cracked so I don't want to like tip it up fully because I'm scared that it will just fall out but can you see the shimmers in here look beautiful so it's just like this little gold one over here that's like a little bit cracked but I've tried to sort of push it back in and it sort of worked because it's such a soft formula but honestly like these shimmer colours look beautiful. Like, they look so high quality. God, the blue shimmer. <sighs> oh, 
Oh my, there's like a black shimmer as well. Green. Okay, the green isn't as intense as the blue, that blue. And then, oh my God, I've got this like champagne color. <gasps> oh, I need to use that one on my eyes. She did this stunning, like warm, smoky look on a model and it just looks beautiful. Yeah, let's do it. Priming my eyes. This is actually a NARS eye base in light. Let's start with this one let's pack it on like the inner and outer corners of my eye lovely jubbly even though it's a sister brand of barry m i've never seen barry m do anything like this before <laughs> no offense barry m next i'm gonna go in with uh maybe like a slightly lighter shade to blend this out a little bit i'm gonna take this one which is a slightly lighter orange i'm just gonna use this to sort of blend out the edges how are you guys doing anyway? Yeah, I feel really weird having been absent for so long off of my YouTube channel. I've still been like chatting to people on Twitter and in my Instagram DMs, but like I feel a little bit alien from YouTube because I haven't filmed in so long. So I do just want to say like thank you because I had so many nice messages. So many people were so kind and were just sort of like take all the time that you need. Um, so thank you guys so much. And also as well, I've had so many DMs from other people that have all also had really bad like illnesses recently like tonsillitis glandular fever other people were sharing their stories of how they ended up in hospital recently <coughs> so i hope you're all okay i think i will actually go in with one of these dark browns i'm going to take this one and i'm going to add this to the outer and inner corners as well to make this like really smoky and i don't know just like a nice autumn smoky sort of eye Oh my goodness, I've just remembered as well, I have a giveaway that I still haven't announced from my previous video. Um, so the giveaway winner, I will have got in touch with. And by the time I've uploaded this, I will have replied back to their YouTube comment. It's a little bit tricky with give giveaways these days because I think for like um, GDPR reasons, you're not supposed to announce the giveaway winner because it's like giving away their name and like their account and some of their information and they might not want that. I'm just gonna keep like building it up, blending it out. I'm gonna add some more orange. Also, please let me know, like, are there any makeup products that you've seen recently that you would like me to test? Because I've been away for so long. I feel like I've missed quite a lot of makeup launches. I do, I do have a uh, my ColourPop order that arrived of the Nightmare Before Christmas ColourPop bits. So I will be doing a video on that, which hopefully will be coming this week. I was going to film it as my first video back, but I just wanted to do a sort of, like, chatty new makeup in general type video. I've still got Nikki Tutorial's Nimya stuff, which I was gonna test before I got ill, and then I got ill, so I haven't, still haven't tested it. Let's also do my lower lash line. There's this beautiful sort of like, oh, hello. There's this really pretty like rusty shimmer, but then I kind of want to use that shade of mine that was broken because that one looks stunning. I'm gonna start off with, I don't even really know if you can see, it's like this uh, rusty shimmer. I'll try it with a brush but it does seem to work really well with the finger. So if this doesn't work well, I'll go in with my finger. You would need to layer it a lot more. I think it would work a lot better on my finger. So let's try that. Yes, yeah, to be honest, I guess that's just like a general rule of thumb really, isn't it? I've never had a shimmer that has worked better with a brush than it has with your finger. <laughs> that shade is really nice, but it's not like as foily as the other ones so i'm gonna try this shade just because it looks a lot more like sparkly oh my god yeah that one's got like full-on tiny like little tiny glitters in it but it's not a glitter does that make any sense probably not <laughs> oh my god this shade is so beautiful oh my god what <laughs> that's absolutely stunning I do have a little bit of fallout on my face from like the little glitters, but that could be because my one was broken a little bit. So maybe it's a little bit more crumbly, but this shade in general is quite soft. So I would say like, be careful. It speaks for itself really, doesn't it? But let's put a little bit of that on the middle of my bottom lash line as well. 
And you know what I've completely forgotten that I did actually have, which is gonna intensify this even more, hopefully. These Iconic London Liquid Glitter. When these arrived, I got sent them in a PR package. I was just looking at them like, yes. And you know what I did use? They've got like this dark black charcoal one and I used that in one of my Halloween looks. It was absolutely stunning. Shall I go for the gold? I think it's, for me, it's gonna be, be between the straight up gold and this like champagne one. They've got a liquid eyeshadow in one end, like glittery eyeshadow. And the other side is a crayon. To be honest, I'm not crazy about eyeshadow crayons, but I think the idea with these is that you put down the crayon first and then you put on the glitter and then it gives you this sort of like beautiful glittery eye look. They look insane. I'm gonna use both. Let's go in with gold mine. My only criticism, wish the handle was a bit longer. Oh. oh no, okay, okay, wait, be careful because they dry quite quickly. Oh my God, that's stunning, but I've accidentally brought it a bit too far along. You would think after nearly seven years of having my channel, I wouldn't get so excited about a shimmery eyeshadow, but every time, if it's shimmery and it impresses me, it just is so exciting. I am so impressed. That is stunning. Let's put some on my lower lash line as well. Put a bit, a bit too much on actually on there. So then I'm gonna take champagne. I don't need it, but I just want it. A little bit of brown. And then finally on my inner corners, I'm gonna take this one, the very first shade, which is also, oh my God. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna take the black, which is just over here, and I'm just gonna line my eyes with it. The black is nice and black, but it's a little bit crumbly, like in the pan, so I would just say to be careful with it, um, because if you pick up too much on your brush, you'll probably get some fallout, so I'm just sort of like building it up slowly. These eyeshadows are stunning. I'm gonna test the Revolution Soft Glamour Mascara, which looks like this. Oh, you know what? This looks like the packaging for that Tarte Mascara. It's just very... a lot. <laughs> and it's just like in this sleeve, um, and then the actual mascara itself just looks like this and oh my what <laughs> look at that brush that is really strange oh i've just realized i do actually have some fallout on my face let me just take a brush and just sweep that away not too sure what i think of this brush <laughs> because it's so like twisty it's quite hard to actually get it to grip all your lashes at the same time mm. it's just not doing it for me it's just a really like strange brush. I'm gonna try this one instead, which is by Bite Beauty, and it is their Upswing Full Volume Mascara. It's got a big brush, like a big plastic brush. That's more like it. This mascara is working pretty well. You know what, I think I might make a TikTok video on those iconic London sticks where I actually use the crayon and the liquid. So just while I wait for my mascara to dry, I'm gonna do my lips with one of the no filter lip kits. I've got the shade Nakey. So you get a lip liner and a lipstick in here. Packaging is nice. It's like a matte white, slightly textured with the gold writing. It feels quite weighty. The only thing is I am gonna get this so dirty. <laughs> Does it smell? It doesn't really smell. Oh cool, it has no filter like in bossed into the actual lipstick bullet. Packaging looks nice, it's pretty fancy. Oh, it's magnetic. I do love a magnetic lipstick. And then the lip liner is quite a lot darker than the lipstick, so let's put these on together. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so creamy. My lips are actually really dry at the moment. This lip liner feels so nice, it's so creamy. And then let's go in with the lipstick on the middle, which is quite a lot lighter. I think that's the whole point though, to get that sort of like ombre lip, but I am just gonna almost bring it all the way out to the edges just to lighten it up even more. Oh, wow. Well. I don't like Kylie Jenner. That is really nice. It is quite a stark contract, contra contract? <laughs> contrast between the lip color and the lip liner, but it definitely gives the illusion of that sort of like plump lip effect. 
formula feels really nice. They feel really creamy. This is a matte finish, I think. I think it's supposed to be a matte finish, but it doesn't feel too dry. It looks really nice and smooth, I think. I've got the Fenty Glow, Fenty, Fenty Gloss Bomb Heat, and they've brought out new shades. Fenty Glow Heat. I'm gonna go for Fenty Glow Heat. Oh, okay, that smell makes me cringe just because I know that it's gonna make my face go like this when I put it on. But just like my whole body sort of cringes at the smell of like plumping lip products. And even when I put them on it, like I feel like I'm sucking a lemon. Okay, it's actually darker than the lipstick, but that's okay. The Fenty glosses are just so nice because they're not sticky. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go stick on a pair of lashes. These are the Isla Dramatic Lashes in number 126. All oh, my lips are starting to tingle and it feels weird. Just between us did the love affair name you too. Hello, I have returned. Um, my lips do actually feel a bit, I don't know, I feel like they feel a little bit more plump. It definitely tingled. Um, the lashes, I actually ended up using a different pair because I sort of like tried those lashes on, but they were just very big like all around and I wanted some that were a bit more like fuller at the edges, like these ones. I cannot remember for the life of me what these lashes are because I just picked them up off of like the, the one of the surfaces in this room. But I would try and find out because I've definitely used them recently, like in a video. Oh, and I put some black uh, eyeliner in my waterline and my tight line. But what do you guys think? I really, really like it. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with a lot of the things that I used. I mean, there were a couple, there were a couple misses, but um, in terms of the eyes and the lips, actually, 10 out of 10. Um, so as usual, I will leave everything linked down below. And I'm now just gonna answer a question of the day, if I have one from my previous video. Okay, so today's question comes from Zia Lancaster, or Z Lancaster. And she said, hey, uh, sh no, she didn't. She did not say hey. She has said, love this eye look. I think I will have to invest in the eyeliners. What are you most excited about coming up to Christmas and the festive season? Oh, so many things. I can't wait for actual Christmas day itself, um, because hopefully like this year, we'll actually be able to be with our family, because last year it was literally just me, James and Pinky on Christmas day because of lockdown. Um, so yeah, hopefully seeing my family. Um, I'm excited for the Christmas food. I'm excited for Christmas decorations to decorate the house. Me and James are going on a trip to Lapland for like a few days, which I can't wait for. So probably that, that's gonna be very festive. And yeah, just, just everything Christmassy. I just love Christmas. Can I start playing Christmas music now? I think the answer is yes. I think I'm gonna put the decorations up this weekend. Right, I'm gonna end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nice to see you again. Yeah, hopefully I will have plenty more videos to come. And um, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much again for being patient with me and being so lovely. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.